Welcome to Destination Everywhere International. We're Mandy and Orlando and we're here to show you around Argentina. Just so we know where we are, Argentina is right here in South America and we're exploring its capital, Buenos Aires. The city is so huge that we're doing two videos, drawing a dividing line at the obelisk. This first video will focus on everything in the northern half, like the toilet museum, and yes my friends, it's a must see, and Buenos Aires' first skyscraper, plenty of war memorials and Falklands history, boating in beautiful parks around the rose gardens, and watch this generic flower bloom in the sculpture park. That's next to the world famous cemetery where Eva Perón is buried. That's Evita of the Don't Cry For Me Argentina song. And she's everywhere. And you won't believe what we discovered in the canals of the Tigre Delta. It's off the grid. And what on earth is going on in the garbage? Stay tuned. Bienvenidos al Argentina. We're starting our tour on the 9th of July Avenue, the largest avenue in the world with 14 lanes, named for Argentina's Independence Day in 1816. Our first stop, the Obelisk in Republic Square. It's 67 meters high, built to celebrate the 400th anniversary of Buenos Aires. I love how the crosswalk is the colors of the Argentinian flag and how it lights up pink at night. Around the obelisk are bustling, touristy streets with places to exchange money and plenty of cheap eats. And for $5, a chori pan is a must. What is it? Only the best sausage sandwich ever. Chorizo pan, our first street food in Buenos Aires. I'm going in. From the obelisk, it's time for a potty break at the Toilet Museum. OK, officially, it's called the Palace of Running Water, Palacio de las Aguas Corrientes and the building is absolutely gorgeous. Designed by a Swedish architect, it has a French roof and shiny tiles that are imported from England. They're Royal Dalton, as in your grandmother's posh dinner set. Once inside this quirky little museum, there's a guided tour, and he's talking the history of sanitation and the pumping station, and you'll see everything from pipes to taps to toilet bowls. And here are the toilets through the ages. Just look at this one, I have to have it. It's an elephant. But wait, there's more and more. We highly recommend this unusual toilet museum. You've got to go. I mean, when you've got to go, you've got to go. And right opposite is the perfect place for cheap and cheerful Argentinian empanadas. How's this for a bargain? Three empanadas and a bebida, a drink. And they're not too shabby. The bargain is about $1.50, I think. Moving on, look at this historic Art Deco apartment building poking out of the skyline. It's the Cavanaugh skyscraper, and it was once the tallest building in South America. And at its foot is the Monument to the Fallen in Malvinas. If you're touring Argentina, you'll hear a lot about the Malvinas Islands, and this is what you need to know. They're 500 kilometers east of Argentina, almost in Antarctica actually, and full of penguins. In the Falklands War of 1982, Britain defeated Argentina and renamed them the Falklands. 40 years on, it's still a sore point. All over the city are sculptures, art, and everything in between, memorializing the fallen in the Malvinas. The clock tower across the street used to be called the English Tower, and now Torre Monumental. But whatever the name, we love the views of this wonderful city from the top. Our next neighborhood is Recoleta, and we're walking along Avenida del Libertador across the park to the famous Recoleta Cemetery. We have three stops along the way, a plaza dedicated to President Bartolome Mitre of the 1860s. And next to that, a beautiful monument gifted from France to Argentina. But probably the most famous one is the monument to Evita Perón. It's all behind bars, it's the only one that's behind bars. We are at the Recoleta Cemetery to see Evita's grave. And this is the square right in front of it with this unbelievable tree. 
It's a gigantic rubber tree planted by the Recoletto brothers in the 1800s, and this poor guy has to hold it up. I think I'll give him a hand. This tree goes on and on. That's just one branch. cemeteries go, this is a beautiful cemetery. This mausoleum is the size of a small house. It's the biggest one that I've seen so far. And this one is the size of a New York apartment. And look at this one, it's got a fancy glass dome on top. Some are really well kept, really beautiful. And some are full of cobwebs and obviously abandoned. Well, if you don't have a tour guide for $10 each, which takes about 50 minutes, they give you this map which is horrendous. You need binoculars to see the names. And then you find Duarte de Peron, that's Evita. It's number 111. I mean, how do you see that on this map? <laughs> so you just go to where all the tourists are. Tombstone reads, don't cry for my loss or distance. I am still an essential part of your existence. So true. Her legend lives on in Argentina some 70 years after her death. There's a museum dedicated to her not far from the cemetery with her portraits and her clothes. But more importantly, this building once served as a women's shelter. Eva Duarte was a movie star when she met President Juan Perón, and she joined him in his fight for social justice. She helped the poor with her foundation, and Argentina fell in love with her. But her own story is tragic, and cervical cancer cut her life short. Even though she died at age 33, she transformed history and is immortal in Argentina. She's everywhere in Buenos Aires, from local apartment buildings to the Department of Social Services building on the 9th of July Avenue, to the Antiques Market of San Telmo, and her face is even on my favorite pair of socks. It's fitting that right next door to her museum are the beautiful rose gardens, and what a relaxing afternoon out. It's so much more than just strolling amongst the flowers. There's a lot to do in the park. There are sculptures all around, ducks to feed. You can take a paddle boat out for a leisurely cruise, or if boats aren't your thing, tour the gardens in the back of a bicycle carriage. But you really don't have to do anything at all if you don't want to. Some people come to the Paseo El Rosadal for an afternoon nap or a picnic. Others, they just like to sit back in the sun and smell the roses. More flowers? Well, just one, and it's a sculpture made out of stainless steel. It's Buenos Aires' most famous flower, the Florales Generica, the general flower, and it even opens and closes during the day. We love the beauty of Buenos Aires, but now we're going to talk trash. Dumpster diving, that is. It's rather odd, but instead of putting trash into the dumpsters, people all over the city are taking trash out. Why? Because recycling in Argentina is money. It's classed as an actual job. So this, seeing people jumping out of a trash can, is uh, quite normal and part of the culture. Can someone call an Uber? Because we're heading north to the Tigre Delta. It's about half an hour out of Buenos Aires, but it's a whole different world. You start at the Puerto de Frutos, the fruit port, pottering around its cafes and souvenir shops, selling local crafts 
and life-size cardboard cutouts of Messi. I regret not buying that. People go to explore the different world of the Delta to experience life off the grid, and it's only accessible by boat. The Tigre Delta is a network of rivers with waterfront accommodation. Think rustic cabins, cabanas, and lofts, and there are tons of them dotted all around. They cost on average $100 a night, some as low as $50, and some include breakfast. It's all about life on the river, finding your own entertainment, boating, kayaking, and swimming. You take all of your provisions with you, but if you need some more water, fruit, or veg, there are floating supermarkets that go up and down the rivers. If you need something, you just hang your empty bottles on the dock, so the service boats know where to stop. If you don't have time for an overnight in Tigre, just go for an afternoon boat ride up the river, then head back to the city, because we've still got another half of Buenos Aires to show you, and it's coming right up on the Destination Everywhere channel. Thanks for subscribing and exploring the other videos like Antarctica, Uruguay, and road trips around the United States. It's easy, all the links are below. See you in the next videos, and thanks for letting us share the world with the world.